we are happy to be shortlisted for the World Architecture Festival Award. Hopefully we'll get it. <laughs> I think that why we were nominated is that we choose a material that you often see in totally different kind of buildings, but used in a, in a more refined way. I mean, we, we choose to deal with a simple material, but put it on a more luxurious building, actually. Lille Integral is only four apartments. One small apartment on the ground floor, and then we have an industrial staircase when you reach the, the second floor, and there are two levels of two other apartments. The challenges that we had was the, the timing. The plot is quite narrow, uh, so we had to use a, a method of assembling it together, like a prefab house, more or less and then to do it quite fast. This is kind of a little, a small house actually. It was surrounded by all these other buildings. They are much bigger, so we chose Swedish steel early in the process because we wanted it to be quite visible, the house. We wanted it to be shiny. To be a kind of sparkle. So they could easily tell their friends, we are in that building, you know, the shiny building. It used to be a part of Linköping, where this is located, in the middle of Sweden. They had some part where they had old factories. They were all done in this kind of sheet metal structure. So actually I was inspired by that. The silence was used that you, you could also double the reflection from the sun, from the, from the daylight. So that's why we used silence profile reminds you of your holidays on the beach, kind of this wavy surface. It's a very good way to solve the corner detail by overlapping the sinuses. It was a quite a beautiful corner detail, made in a very simple way. We thought that steel was a good way because we, we weren't sure about the colors yet. And we knew that if we use steel we can chose colors easily than if you would have done it in aluminium. I mean, Green Code, we had 400 different colors to choose from and we, we picked out one that we liked. Of course, we could have chosen one more, you know, bright orange or something, but it wouldn't have been the same. It, it couldn't, I mean, it, the house has to age as well in grace. So we choose something that is more subtle but in the same time quite expressive. And of course there is a sustainability reason behind it, that we, we also had a demand from the local building committees that we should think of sustainability. We were of course happy that we found out that the Green Coast Steel was using a Swedish rapeseed oil, actually grown very close by from, from the site. So it's, uh, that was also kind of you know, happy news for us. It was the first building I ever done in, in steel, but it went out quite well, so I'm going to continue. <laughs>